What if I told you that you could build an app powered by Nano Banana for images, advanced language models for text, VO3 for videos, and Midjourney for design generation, instead of jumping between 10 different websites, paying for multiple subscriptions, and trying to connect everything together, everything lives in one place. Today, I'm gonna show you how regular people with zero coding experience are building apps that would have required a full development team just two years ago. Here's what's happening right now. The barrier between between having an idea and turning it into a working application has basically disappeared. You don't need to learn Python. You don't need to understand databases. And you definitely don't need to hire a team of developers. Think about this for a second. Just five years ago, if you wanted to build an app that could generate images, process text, and create videos, you'd need to hire a team of specialists, front-end developer, back-end engineer, someone who understands machine learning APIs, UI designer, probably a project manager to coordinate everything everything. You'd be looking at months of development time and easily fifty to hundred thousand dollars in costs. The platform I want to show you today is called Uware, and it's not just another app builder. It's like having access to every major AI tool integrated into one workspace where you can build actual functional applications. We're talking about apps that can generate images with Nano Banana, create videos with VO3, write content with advanced language models, and do things that most people think require you years of technical training. What makes this different from traditional no-code platforms is the AI-first approach. Instead of just connecting databases and creating forms, you're working with intelligent systems that can understand context, generate content, and make decisions. You're building applications that feel magical to use because they're powered by some of the most advanced AI models available. Let me show you exactly what's possible and then I'll walk you through building something from scratch so you can see how simple this actually is. Here's a mid-journey generator that's been used over 100 times. Someone built this without writing a single line of code and it gives users a clean interface to generate professional images using Midjourney's API. Look at the quality of images people are creating with this. This isn't just a prompt interface. It's a full application with proper user experience, error handling, community features, and even usage analytics. But let me show you some even more specific examples. Here's a transform your logo with AI magic app that caught my attention. You upload your logo and it creates it's naturally integrated brand peripherals with realistic materials and premium finishes. Let me test this by uploading a simple company logo. Watch this. The AI analyzes the design elements, color scheme, and style, then generates business cards, letterheads, and packaging mockups that maintain brand consistency. This is the kind of design work that would typically require a professional designer and hours of work. Here's another interesting example, a professional headshot generator that transforms regular photos into professional ones. I'll upload a basic selfie and see what happens. The AI doesn't just apply filters, it's actually understanding lighting, composition, and professional photography principles to create something that looks like it was shot in a high-end studio. The results are genuinely impressive. Impressive. And here's something really unique, Da Vinci Manuscript Generator that creates Renaissance style manuscripts with intricate details and authentic annotations. You can upload reference images or select from their database and the AI generates documents that look like they came straight from Leonardo's workshop. The attention to detail is remarkable. Aged paper textures, period appropriate handwriting, technical diagrams in the classic style. The creator of these apps probably spent a weekend building them and now hundreds of people rely on them for their creative projects. If you were to hire a development team to build something like this traditionally, you'd be looking at weeks of development time just to handle the API integrations properly, let alone building a user interface that's this polished. You know VO3 from Google, right? Video and VFX generation used to be something you'd need expensive software like After Effects or Houdini, plus technical knowledge for composing and processing. Now, someone built an app that lets anyone create video with VFX by simply describing what they want. The interface is clean, professional, and it's connected to one of the most advanced video AI models available. What's cool here is that you can create your own app or website with built-in VO3 integration. It's convenient, no switching 
between different applications. Everything lives in one workspace. It's pretty useful that you can integrate BO3 directly into your own app or website like in this example. What's great about this video generator is how it handles the complexity behind the scenes. Video generation involves massive computational resources, complex rendering pipelines, and sophisticated AI models. But the user experience is as simple as type in a description. The app handles all the technical complexity, API calls, queue management, status updates, file processing, stuff that would normally require a team of backend engineers. Here's something really interesting, a 3D model generator. Creating 3D models traditionally requires specialized software like Blender or 3ds Max, plus months of learning just the basics. This app makes it as simple as typing a description. People are generating 3D assets for games, presentations, architectural visualizations, and creative projects without any technical background. I want you to think about what this represents. 3D modeling has been one of the most technical creative disciplines. Art schools have entire programs dedicated to teaching these skills. Now, someone built an interface that democratizes this capability and makes it accessible to anyone who can describe what they want to create. What's interesting about these examples is that each one represents what used to be a completely separate skill set. Image generation, video creation, 3D modeling. These were different industries with different tools, different learning curves, and different professional communities. Now they're all accessible through apps that someone built in their spare time. But here's what's really powerful about this approach. Instead of learning how to use 10 different AI tools, jumping between websites, managing different subscriptions, and dealing with different interfaces, everything is integrated. When you build an app on UWare, you have access to all these AI models through a single platform. Think about the economics of this for a second. If you wanted to use Midjourney VO3 and a 3D generation service separately, you'd need three different subscriptions, three different accounts, three different interfaces to learn. With UWare, you get access to all of these capabilities through one platform, and you can combine them in ways that wouldn't be possible if they were separate services. Now, let me show you how this actually works by building something from scratch. I'm gonna create an application that combines image generation with text processing, and you will see how straightforward this process is. Starting from the UWare dashboard, I'll click Create to begin a new project. The interface walks you through the process step by step. You're not staring at a blank code editor wondering where to start. You have a guided experience. Now, what is how different this is from traditional development? When you start a project in most development environments, you are immediately faced with decisions about frameworks, databases, hosting, and infrastructure. With UWare, these technical decisions are abstracted away so you can focus on what your application actually does. Now let me show you exactly how UWare interface works for creating applications. The uh, create page is designed with simplicity in mind. In the center, there's a large input field where you can describe what you want to build in plain language, something like image generator or landing page creator or social media content tool. On the left side, you have your navigation menu with projects, plugins, blog, notifications, and a prominent plus create button for quick access. At the bottom of the screen, there are red ready-made templates like Figma to website, landing page, and AI app generator that give you a starting point. Here's what makes this system so powerful. You simply describe your idea in natural language, click the create button, and you were automatically assembles a working application by selecting and connecting the appropriate AI tools from their integrated library. The beauty of this approach is that I don't need to know which specific AI services to use or how to connect them. The platform handles the selection based on what works best for the type of application application I'm building. It's like having an expert developer who understands all these AI tools making the technical decisions for you. So I'm going to create a social media content creator with image and caption generator and type my prompt into the main field. Create a social media content creator that can generate both images and captions for posts featuring a seamless user interface built with React and styled with Tailwind CSS, enabling intuitive content creation workflows using the Nano Banana model. Also, I can select an MCP tool. This is crucial and something that gets missed a lot. To make my future app better, I'll choose the image generator. It allows me to generate custom images from text prompts and enrich my AI-generated web content. Now watch this. The app is processing, 
my request. Coordinating between Nano Banana for image creation and presenting everything in a clean interface. Behind the scenes, there is sophisticated orchestration happening. The platform is managing API calls, handling different response times, and coordinating the results. Let's test what we've built. I'll enter a prompt like a cozy coffee shop scene, choose one of social networks, for example, Instagram, and minimalistic style. Now see how our application handles it. And there we have it. The app generated a professional looking image. The entire process took about 10 minutes to set up, and we now have a functional application that someone could actually use for their social media strategy. If I wanted to enhance this further, I could add features like add video generation capabilities with VO3 model. Let's take the same prompt, cozy coffee shop scene, choose the Instagram platform for five second video in modern style. Video generation will take two to three minutes. What's particularly impressive is that this app is now available for others to use and build upon. That's part of the UR ecosystem. When you create something useful, it becomes part of a community where others can discover it, use it, and even build enhanced versions. Someone could fork this app and add video generation capabilities or connect it to a content calendar system. In addition to this community-driven growth, UR has recently introduced the Creator Incentive Program. This means project authors can now actually earn income from their creations. Every time your app is used or remixed, you have the opportunity to generate revenue. It's not just about sharing tools anymore. It's about being rewarded for your creativity. This feature sets you where apart from other platforms by giving builders a tangible benefit, turning side projects into real income streams. I've already enabled the incentive benefits on account. This means that by simply building and publishing apps on you you're not only creating useful tools, but you also have the chance to earn real income. Income. And to prove it's not just theory, here's a screenshot of a creator who has already started making money through the program. It shows the full cycle in action. You build an app, people use it, and you get paid for the value you've created. That's the real power of using UWear. Here's what you need to know to get started with this approach to building applications. First, UWear provides access to cutting edge AI models that would normally require separate subscriptions and technical integration. Instead of paying for Mid Journey, Nano, Banana, and other tools separately, you get access through one platform. Second, the learning curve is designed for regular people, not developers. You don't need to understand programming concepts or spend months learning technical skills. If you can use a computer and have ideas for applications, you can build functional apps. The community aspect is really valuable too. You can explore what others have built, use their applications, and even build enhanced versions of existing projects. This creates a learning environment where you can see practical examples and understand understand how different features are implemented. If you want to try this yourself, start with something simple. Think about a task you do regularly that could benefit from AI assistance. Maybe it's generating social media content, crafting educational materials, or automizing something in your work or personal life. The platform offers a free tier so you can experiment without committing to a subscription. Build something small first, get familiar with how the integrations work, and then expand your ideas as you get more comfortable. What excites me most about this approach is that we are moving from a world where you need technical skills to implement ideas to a world where having good ideas and understanding what's possible is the main requirement. The technical implementation is handled by platforms like UWare, which means more people can participate in creating useful applications. If you found this overview helpful and want to see more examples of what's possible with no-code AI application development, let me know in the comments. I'm particularly interested in hearing about specific applications you like to see built or problems you think could be solved with this approach. The barrier between ideas and implementation has never been lower. And I think we're going to see some really creative applications emerge as more people discover what's possible with these tools.